I've incorporated tens of thousands of postage stamps in my work and series of post-US paintings. This one I find particularly fascinating because all of these Eagle airmail stamps or six cent stamps were sent in 1939-1940 and they all have dates, times, places, the journey from one person to another or a messenger in between and this story of a collective, this collective voice and this history of collecting. So I've incorporated them with metal pigments and minerals to really give that transformative sense of time. There's no blue paint in here. These are, are pigments which have formed a skin, a rust, and it breathes. And it acts like an ocean, an ocean of minerals and memory and an ocean of messages. So that's what this work is about. It's about mediums and messages and the voices they hold. And this piece here really is one of my favorite pieces. Uh, I've settled on the title, Night Swimming. It really teaches me a lot, this piece. I'm always seeing new things in it. So my story with this and the story of weavings and paintings was to incorporate 4,000 of these two cent stamps into this piece. And every time one removed itself from this little 20 grid of, with adhesive backing, Every time one came off, I realized, well, you have to allow things that want to leave to go. So then I would replace it, but upside down. And that V shape would become a diamond, like a warp in the weave. So I found that the place that these mistakes were being made were warps in the weave where spirit could enter. This here is where all my madness with stamps began. Um, by accident, I had bought a little sheet of two cent stamps at the post office and I found the pattern so enthralling, the Navajo jewelry, turquoise necklace, all the time I'd spent out west, the Native American friends that I made and places I'd been invited. It seemed to take on a whole other context in the city. And all of my work previous to this really had, the concentration was in the formless. Um, and this symbolism of the flag was just penetrated so deeply across the American psyche. Seen in flags in front of porches and on people's trucks all over the country. So this was my response to the flag as a, a British American in the States. And laying out 4,000 two cent stamps beneath it to represent the native culture and how one country or one culture paints its way over the other. This kind of patina of time through the metals, the oxidation, the rust, the sense of entropy, just really to capture this breath, this rippling breath, this sense of light and air and metal and people's communities, structures. That's what my two cents is about. <laughs>